Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, the gold spot price has been very strong over the last few months. It went down to the 1400s, I think, I think it was around 1490, that's in pounds that is. But, right now it's above 1500, it's, I think it's 1520, uh, yeah 1520. And in dollars, the price is uh, 1960. And it also went down in dollars too. But for some reason, the last few months, the pound has been getting stronger than the dollar. If I search on Google, pound to, do pound to dollar, see that the current rate is 129. So one pound currently gets you $1.29. So that's why the spot price in pound and dollars is not going the same way as pounds so for some reason the pound's been getting a lot stronger than the, do than the dollar but both currencies are losing value because of inflation we all know that inflation eats away at your purchasing power and that means that the currency of your country loses value if you hold pounds after a few years or even after a year your currency loses p purchasing power because it can buy less which means that the pound is less valuable, same with the dollar. But it's, it seems that the dollar is losing value f faster than the pound at the moment. But both are losing value. This stuff will continue to gain value. I keep looking at the Dow to gold ratio to make to check if it's worth buying, whether it's worth um, selling gold. My my plan is to wait till the down to gold ratio goes to around the uh, uh, 10 range around 10 10 ounces of gold per share of the Dow Jones app the Dow Jones but right now it's around um, 29 yeah so no 17 yeah so it's around 17 right now 17 ounces of gold is required to buy one share of the Dow that's dollars but that means that gold is still heavily undervalued. It's definitely worth buying it. Same with silver. Silver is definitely undervalued. Hopefully one day this will give us a good return. If a recession comes, then this will definitely go up in value a lot. But the bank... The central banks like the US and the European Central Bank have raised their base rates again um, or they're planning to raise it again so that should also affect the stock market um, but I'm not sure what the Bank of England is going to do I think the Bank of England is going to do the same thing so I think inflation is worse in the UK than it is in the US so I think Bank, the UK will go into a worse recession than 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 the US, I think, because of how much um, how much of a bubble we're in, we're in, especially the real estate market. Houses are at astronomical levels, so housing is definitely in a bubble, and so is the stock market in the UK. Um, but as long as you hold this stuff, you're safe from any crashes. At least you know it's physical, you can see it. I don't have to worry about this. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, a few weeks ago I I sold my um, Mexican 50 pesos gold coin. I sold it for £1,750. Yeah, so I sold it for a decent amount. I sold it to Bullion by Post. Obviously, they don't give you the best deal, do they? They, they, they do have a, have a large spread between their buy and sell price. But at least I got something for it. But um, the reason I had to sell that coin was because recently, recently I've been doing driving lessons because I'm planning to get my driving license soon. So driving lessons are quite expensive where I live. Um, I think right now I'm being charged forty pound per hour for a driving lesson. Before COVID, I used to be twenty five pound, but after COVID, it went up to forty pound an hour. So it's quite expensive driving lessons. And I think I'm going to need probably like 20 or 30 driving lessons. So that's at least 800 or 1,200 pounds. 
So that's why I'd sell it, just to cover driving lesson costs. Yeah, so, anyway guys, um, haven't uploaded for a while. I intend to upload at least every two weeks, sometimes once a week, but I'm not going to upload ads frequently as I used to because there's just that there's just not that many topics to talk about really. Most of the topics that are worth talking about have already been talked about on my previous videos. But I'm just gonna keep holding this gold and silver. At the moment I can't buy any more. Hopefully soon I can buy more one day in the next few months. But anyway guys, let me know how your gold stack's doing. How many ounces of each have you got? Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.